Hi, uh, my name is uh, <coughs> Rafi. I uh, work at uh, Mellanox to be NVIDIA soon. Um, so this is a job interview question that we ask sometimes. Uh, it's uh, data structures. And uh, I'll just describe the question. So you have two um, linked list, one direction linked list that uh, starts at uh, A, as you see here, and the second one starts here. And they have uh, a lot of nodes. And somewhere after a number of nodes in A and B, they are uh, joined together into another, to one, uh, jo one list. And till the end, the, there is a null somewhere. So just a quick question, uh, who knows this question? Good. Um, so uh, why I like this question? Because there are a few answers for it, so I can measure. Ah, right. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, uh, so why I like this question? Because there are a few answers for it. What is the question? So the question is, you, you need to write a, a program. You get two pointers to the beginning of A, somewhere here, and to the beginning of B, somewhere here. And you need to return in reasonable time uh, this one, this uh, first joined node of the two uh, linked list. Um, sadly, I don't have the time to do the entire process of answering the question. I do want to uh, uh, go over some uh, solutions and to uh, show you the most, uh, the best solution that I hope no one here knows. If someone knows it, they ping me later. So uh, the first solution uh, which uh, everyone should know is just uh, to uh, do a double uh, uh, loop. It's an n square solution. You just start from A and then you uh, check on every element in B. If it doesn't match, you go to the next A. Etc. 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 This is a square uh, solution, and uh, if you're stuck on it, then you're uh, out of uh, interview luck. The second uh, solution that usually uh, people come up is they use the uh, data structures, and uh, uh, usually a hash, and then they just say, "Okay, I'll just pick up A. I'll write all the uh, memory addresses of A in hash, and then I'll go over B." And find the first, the first one that is, that is already in the hash. It's the, the, the lucky node that I'm looking for. So uh, here, the solution is uh, about on in time, but we do use uh, on uh, of space, which is a big no-no. So uh, then uh, some of the candidates uh, with a few clues, some without, uh, come up with, with uh, uh, the good solution. Uh, the, 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 the thing in this question, the problem is that the number of nodes before, here, and here is unknown, and uh, it's not the same. If it would have been the same, we could have just uh, go uh, one node at a time in both lists, in both the linked lists, and then just compare and find the joined node. But the problem is that it's not. So how do we overcome uh, this, this thing? So the easy solution that if you don't think about it, and if you, in the interviewer you bang your head after, it's just you count the number of elements in each uh, list. So here, let's say you count A, you see three nodes, and, and B, you count and you see five nodes, and then you just uh, deduce the number, and you, uh, you get two. And in the big list, you just skip two, lists, two nodes, and then you know exactly that the uh, size before the joint list is the same, and you just start comparing one by one. Now, this is usually where I stop the interview because this is the solution that everyone knows, and, and that's okay. I'm not expecting more than that, but I do want to achieve more in this very light talk. So, uh, if you want to achieve more, let's say if D is very long, like extremely A0 long, like how can you cut a, 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 the time? So, there is an optimiza optimization that I never heard anyone say, but um, it's very good, so I'm just going to present it quickly. Um, so what I'm uh, talking about is a minor uh, private um, of uh, how to uh, improve this. Uh, so the idea is following. You will start, uh, you will start by going uh, in each A and B. Each time you, you increase the number of elements you jump. First you jump in A two nodes, and then you go in B four nodes, and compare, did you find it or not? And if you didn't find it, you jump in A, four nodes, it's eight nodes, and you look for the one in A. And if you didn't find it, you jump in A, another power of two, 16. Eventually, 
two things can happen. Either you got to know, either you, or you got somewhere uh, before that, and that means that if D is long enough, you're not, you don't need to cut to go over till the end of D, and this brings us to a very uh, good solution, which in some cases is less than uh, linear. Not, it's still O n, but if D is very, very long, it's uh, less than linear. Still waiting for the guy to tell it to me in the job interview. Bye-bye.